Good morning. Today is Monday, May 2nd, 2022. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday today to Caroline Brooks, Nathan Kane, and Ramaya Steele. I hope you have great birthdays today. For lunch today, we'll have Wild Mike's Cheese Pizza, Juicy Diced Pears, Carrots, and Milk. For breakfast tomorrow, we'll have a Cocoa Puff Cereal Kit, Raisins, and Milk. Well, we're very excited as we turn the calendar to May this week, we will be having our staff appreciation. So I'm encouraging you students to take time to thank your teachers and your para pros and anyone else who at the school helps you out. This is our week that we will honor them and acknowledge them for all they do. But did you know that your teachers also appreciate their teachers that they had or other teachers? And so I've asked the, those teachers to share some of their uh, the people they're thankful for, and I've gotten some, and I'd like to share them now. Miss Bach, who's working up with our eighth grade students, says, I have two teachers that I want to give a shout out to for helping me through this experience and be where I am today. The first person I want to acknowledge is my mom. She is the reason that I wanted to become an educator in the first place, and she has supported me throughout the entire process. She has given me so many resources and a lot of helpful advice when it comes to teaching, and I wouldn't be where I am today without her. She is one of the most caring people I have met, and I am so thankful for her. Another person I'd like to recognize is Mrs. Farmer. I had the pleasure of working with her for my student teaching experience. She has given me so many ideas on how to teach the younger students, as well as modeling effective teaching. I couldn't have asked for a better person to spend my experience with. I can talk to her about anything and everything, and I'm thankful that she gave me the opportunity to grow as an educator, as well as the whole second grade team welcoming me to their team. These two teachers have helped me so much, and I wouldn't be where I am today without them. Thank you for allowing us to have them be recognized for their hard work and dedication. Great, Ms. Bach, thank you for sharing. Mrs. Van, Van Heiden says, I would like to send a shout out to Mrs. Prignano. She has gone above and beyond with the position she took over this year. Her kids have progressed so much. The kids in her room are her kids. She treats them like family and expects the same from them as she does her own kids. She pushes them to do their best and then more. She not only teaches from the books and lesson plans, but also has extensive life lesson talks. She teaches nouns and pronouns right along with making sure that they are valued and loved. Mrs. Prignano makes sure to tell kids before every test, I am already proud of you and know you will do amazing. Thank you. Take your time and do your best. Mrs. Pragnano is an amazing person to work with and has made this one of my favorite years of working here. Thanks for sharing, Mrs. Van Heiden. And finally, from Miss Ritasel. Miss Ritasel says, shout out to Mrs. J, the school social worker, because she is a very positive and hardworking person and professional. Mrs. J knows how to tell a story that will make you laugh. She also knows how to work hard and to be there for people when they need her. She genuinely cares about her job, colleagues, and the people she serves, and her efforts have had a very positive impact on our community for generations. So much, of, so, much so, she gets hugged by parents of former students when she is eating lunch out with her colleagues on a Teacher Institute day. Her dedication to serving those in need has made a positive mark on the lives of many, an outcome that many aspire to achieve in their careers. Thanks for sharing, Ms. Ritasel. So again, thank you to Mrs. Bach, Mrs. Farmer, Mrs. Prignano, 
and Mrs. J for being such a great positive role model to others who are in the teaching profession. Well, that's all the announcements we have for today, but let's remember our Morris motto to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Have a great Monday and a great week, everybody.